Hi guys, um, this is a uh, tutorial workshop on how to perform normality tests in SPSS. Um, first of all, um, a quick recap on how we input data into SPSS. So in this case, um, this data set here um, contains several bits of information about students. Um, now, in uh, when we perform or organize data sets for data analysis, we should always um, follow a structure where each row represents a, um, a subject or a unit of observation, in this case, this is a student, and each column represents a bit of information or a variable that we have collected about um, these subjects. So in this case, we have students here, and there are 118 of them. And for each of these 118 students, we have information of which course they're on, um, their height, as well as their foot sizes in centimeters. Now, as you can see here, course is a one, and then further down here, there's a two. Now, this is because this obviously isn't course one and course two, but um, it's set up like this because SPSS doesn't actually um, fare very well with copying any letters or, um, or words um, over into this other platform. So when you do any um, data collection in Excel, and usually that's what we would do, we would store our data in Excel, Excel is a data organization and storage tool, whereas SPSS is a data analysis tool. So once we're ready and we've collected all of our data and we're ready to copy it over into the data analysis platform, we should be replacing any sort of categorical labels like course, in this case it's FDSC or Foundation Degree of Science and BSc or Bachelor of Science. We need to transform those into numbers instead of letters. So in this case, FDSC is course number one, and BSc is course number two. Once that's done, we can copy the data over into SPSS just simply through copying and pasting, but it's very important that when we do this, we do not copy any of the words, so that includes column headers, or as I said, if there are any sort of um, category names for things, then they need to be changed to, let to numbers first. So we can essentially highlight all of this data in Excel, and then control copy on your keyboard, or you can right click and copy as well, it has the same, um, the same effect, here we go. And then we should open a new data set in SPSS that will be empty to start with. We have to make sure that we're in the data view, which is where we input our data. Okay, so down here in SPSS, we can toggle between them. So we need to make sure that in SPSS, we're in the data view, and then we can simply right click and paste or we can uh, control and V on our keyboard. Now all of this data is in here. We just need to make sure that these variables are set up correctly. Um, if we toggle over into the variable view of SPSS, um, we can set up several different um, properties of these variables. One of them is the names. So what we copied over here was course. This first bit of information was, was which course was each of the students on. The second bit of information was height. That's the, the student's height. Um, and the, second, uh, the third one was foot size. Now in this name one, in this name uh, category here, we can't use any spaces or special characters. So if you want a space in there, you're better off using an underscore. And then the last thing we need to do, and if you need to look, um, have some more information about this or some more um, practice, then there are other um, uh, tutorials um, about this, but we need to set up um, the value labels here. So where um, cause number one was FDSC, we just need to tell SPSS that. So this is FDSC, cause number one, and cause number two was BSC. Okay. Once that's done, last thing is that this first variable, course one and course two, or BSC and FDSC, is a nominal variable. It's categories, and the other two are scale. If we go back into our data view now, this has all been changed accordingly, and by toggling between the label and the, uh, the number, we can actually check that this has worked correctly, and down here we should have some BSC students. But from here, we can then now um, start to um, perform the normality tests to see whether these data here, height and foot size, follow a normal distribution or not.